equals one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So it's a pretty easy formula, but the diagonal is this distance from this vertex to the opposite vertex. So you can see that whole length is diagonal one, this whole length is diagonal two. Of course, it doesn't matter which order, okay, because multiplication is commutative. And then in a kite, it's the exact same formula, so it's nice, you just have to take this whole length times this whole length times one half, and that gives you the area. Now, just a quick refresher, uh, kites, okay, they have two consecutive uh, pairs of sides that are congruent. So you can see that these sides are congruent and these sides are congruent, but these are not congruent. And then in a rhombus, all four sides are congruent. And the interesting thing to note also about kites and rhombi, okay, are that the diagonals are actually perpendicular to one another, so they form right angles here where they cross. Let's look at a couple examples, you'll understand a little bit better how this works. So say like this first one over here, we wanna find the area, right? So we have to take this whole diagonal, which you can see is gonna be three plus eight, so that's 11, so the area is gonna be one half times 11 times this diagonal. Now you might be saying, Mario, we don't know this piece right here, right? Well, in a kite, this diagonal right here is a line of symmetry. So if you fold the kite like this, this angle matches with this angle, this matches with this, you can see this side matches with this side. It's an exact, you know, it's like cut in half. It's the exact line of symmetry if you fold it over. So this five here is gonna be the same as this segment length here, five. So that whole diagonal is gonna be 10. So if we go ahead and multiply that out, one half times 10 is five, times 11 is 55 units square 